I did mention earlier on the important word no. It's the hardest word in an agency vocabulary. Um, we grow up in an environment in agencies where the answer is yes, what's the question? And of course, when we have to say no to clients, we often do it badly or we don't do it at all. And then we get pissed off because we work all weekend because we've agreed to something we didn't actually want to do. Does that sound vaguely familiar as well? So again, we teach our people how to say no well. This again comes from Harvard, another academic called Bill Urey, who wrote a book called The Power of a Positive No. And what essentially he's doing is saying, you actually start saying no by saying yes. Isn't that weird? But the yes is a respectful yes, as in I don't hear the client's request and go nuts and get outraged. I hear the quiet client's request, I ask some respectful questions, I, I, I replay the thing back. I'm basically saying I understand what you're asking for and why you're asking for it. Respectful. I then follow it with my no, um, and here's, although I understand it, here's why I can't agree to it, and here are my reasons for not agreeing to it, and then I finish with a yes, because I know it's quite a hard thing to deliver and the client's gonna hate you at that point. The yes is, and here's what I am prepared to do. Yes, I hear you. No, I'm not prepared to do it for the following reasons, but here's what I am prepared to do. You'll be amazed at how that changes the dynamic um, of the conversation. This is what McKinsey teach their consultants, by the way. We had McKinsey in last year talking to us, and this is one of the things they talked about. They teach the consultants the yes, no, yes thing, um, excuse me, with, uh, with clients.